First of all, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to uh, so many incredible people. Thank you to everyone who believed in Ritzer. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported uh, this journey. Thank you to our investors who backed us. Uh, thank you for our amazing construction partners. Thank you for, uh, you know, for Gatwick. You know, for believing in this project and picking with so uh, good morning, everybody. For those of you that don't know me, uh, my name is Paul Brandt, um, and I'm fortunate enough to lead the team that operates the electric forecourts for the grid zone. So there's a, a, a phenomenal army of people that create this and bring it to life, um, and then it's for me and my team to ensure we deliver the most awesome customer experience on a consistent, ongoing basis. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bronwyn Jones, I'm the Development Director here. And we are genuinely thrilled to welcome Good Serve to our village, our town, really. Hi, my name is uh, JJ John Jenkins from uh, Amazon over in Seattle. Uh, and I'm really excited to be here today. Uh, it's great to be here with partners like GridServe and Simply Fresh. On the roof, 114 solar panels, which, again, is replicated from what we have in Norwich and Braintree. Now, I'm reliably informed that those 114 solar panels um, are capable of generating 42 megawatt hours, which I'm hearing is the equivalent of 250,000 miles. Well, it's been an amazing journey, I'm, I'm, and I'm so proud of you, you know, to have got stuck into this, to have learned a new industry. I'm Noel from A3 Management Consulting, here at the opening of the GridServe Gatwick Electric Forecourt. You know, I came to the Braintree opening in December 2020, the highlight of my lockdown, and today is the highlight of 2024 so far. So excited to see the progress that's been made. This is our third one of these we've done now. Um, we've done, we did a quarter degree uh, superpump cycles last year, uh, and had a small role in finding some of those sites. I'm from EVA England, I'm the chair of Gatwick. I was at the uh, First one in Brave, it was amazing. Hard to believe that just two years later we're here. And uh, this is how the country should be. This is what we won. Yes. Today. Have you tried uh, the, the, the fantastic um, a Little Fresh and Grab and Go? No, not yet. No, I'm, I'm, I'm so nervous about it. Is it going to go? It's going to be hard. So, uh, yeah. it's a good one. 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 So now we are a group. <laughs> you know, so uh, you know we can. Uh, you you put your. Uh, do you want to make it all right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So I can put my email address in here. Okay. So I'm getting this on your chat. Yes, you are. Nice. Who says entrepreneurs are tight and never give anybody <laughs> anything? So that's done. So now anything that I pick up or you pick up, yeah. uh, you pick up and pass to me, <laughs> whichever one it might be. Right. Uh, We'll, when you then walk out, which we will do, we'll be there. Whatever you want for us. Okay, so you picked up some, uh, some buttons, uh, a drink, if anything, would you like? Or, um, you know? why, why not? If, if, if you're playing, <laughs> I'm looking to say, but I need, I need something for anything. Playing is a good thing. Okay. I might get some things as well. Yeah, yeah, I have not been playing for a long time. So there we go, so we've, we've done it. Um, that bit's fairly normal. Yes. Um, and, uh, and this is and this is the bit that um, that uh, <laughs> you know is a little bit different. So now what do we do? We just walk up. Yeah, so yeah. that is it. That feels very weird. <laughs> Can I quickly ask you? It's an awkward question. A bit of basket. Okay. We had a, an energy energy crisis yes. some time ago, and everybody's bills went up. It was a bit of a nightmare, including, of course, and understandably, your your costs. And, and what the charging was then. Um, that doesn't seem to have come down. So, um, I think what you probably will notice that what has gone up is the amount of investment that we have put into okay. any charging right. structure. So, you know, GridServe are investing more money than I think anybody else in the UK and probably as much as anybody in the world at putting charging infrastructure in at the speed and scale necessary okay. to give people the confidence to drive uh, and transition to electric cars uh, at the speed and scale required for the rest of the line of prices. Okay, and we're okay. doing that in advance. Partnership, we've, we've had a partnership with Tesla on every electric forecourt and you know, look forward to continuing 
uh, to build on that relationship. Um, this also puts the, you know, the uh, as well as giving more confidence to electric Tesla drivers, it also puts this on the map uh, for Tesla as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a great solution. So we provide the energy uh, to Tesla. What they do in terms of charging, you know, is what is, is, is down to Tesla. You know, Tesla is an incredible company. Mm. I'm now a decade in electric vehicles this year, right. 2024, 2014. Sorry, it was the first year that I got into one. I got into Tesla. I'm still in Tesla. Uh, I've learned so much from that, you know, that, that business. I'm delighted to be able to support you know, the Tesla journey and I'm delighted to know all the support that it's provided us. So yeah, we continue our partner with Tesla um, and um, you know, long may it continue. Well. Yeah, you can get Elon Musk to open the next one then. Do, <laughs> do the ribbon cutting. That would be awesome, Elon. If you're listening, um, I would love to have a conversation and uh, yeah, all this good stuff we can do yeah. together. Let's just go around and take a quick look at the go back in the room. So the whole kind of sun to wheel ecosystem that we're yeah. delivering, we build solar farms, uh, which is a net zero uh, equivalent of uh, oil wells, same energy, skip 300 billion years. Uh, we build batteries, which is a, you know, an equivalent to refineries because you can make that um, energy more useful. Uh, we use uh, cables, we build grid infrastructure as a base of pipelines and tankers. Uh, again, they're a lot more efficient and secure. Uh, we build electric floor ports uh, like this and electric super hubs instead of you know, petrol floor ports and fuel depots. And we also lease electric vehicles too. Um, and the really amazing thing about that is that we've discovered in the UK that a, in, for a solar farm in the UK, one acre of land can generate enough energy every year in the UK securely for more than a million EV miles. Isn't that That's remarkable? That's in the yeah. And not only that, we've discovered that that energy is generated at roughly the same time as when we need it. So it's like like nature, you know, it's already balanced yeah. for us. Yeah, it's, you know? it's, well, we're the Goldilocks planet, aren't we? We're not, well, we've not been too cold, too hot, just right. We're trying to keep it that way. Um, final thought. Okay. The little bit of the kind of journey that you've been on uh, personally, and I know then with Dale Vince, when you adopted the electric highway. He passed me the baton. He passed you the baton. <laughs> yeah. You know, God bless him. May all that early investment long time ago, some challenges along the way, but then, yes, passed you the baton. He now has, I'm, I know this for a fact, um, plans for an electric aviation company to run it by the back to run in the United Kingdom, to fly in the United Kingdom, possibly for this airport, Amazing. within like the next two years. Amazing. So I've seen a photograph where I think someone from up there is looking out as an aeroplane goes up, just to give people a reference of where this is. Imagine if in just a couple of years, Dale can be there with you, looking out the window, watching one of his electric aeroplanes take off while his EV's being charged. That's the future, right, in front, right now. Yeah, I mean, that would be awesome. And so what we're doing is we're supporting the needs of and de decarbonisation of the airport uh, and the 20,000 people that work here um, as quickly as we possibly can. Um, and of course, we will be absolutely delighted when the planes that are you know, passing through this airport are yeah. you know, net zero. Um, well, it's not far well. away. It, it's on its way. But for now, absolutely. Todding thing. Thank you so much, uh, Lord. Camera person. That's Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs>